Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I wanted to share with you today a uh, discontinued product. Um, you would think, why would I share a discontinued product? Well, this product is actually discontinued from its manufacturer, but it's readily available. So the question is, where do discontinued products go to die or to get resold in this aspect? So what we're looking at here right now is the Klein model 44216 which was a electrician's multi-tool i think they called this a seven and one um this was introduced to uh the u.s market in may of 2018 i think was the first availability on this and then it was discontinued somewhere in uh 2021 sometime you can still find these if you put klein 44216 in the old googler there you type it in and this will actually still come up in certain uh, websites and it'll i think it still actually comes up on amazon and it says you know currently not available but it will never be available uh, again in the klein form so you're asking well how is it readily available well this guy right here actually came from aliexpress and if you take a look right here what they've done uh the klein logo was right here uh in the handle and then also when you open this up the klein logo was right here and you can actually still see a little bit of it if you turn it at the right angle and my best guess is they actually tried to laser this off and this was definitely uh, either sandblasted or, or, or lasered off. Uh, my guess is laser because of the accuracy. This was a black on white logo here in this corner. So as you can see, this is a little bit different uh, than most multi-tools. This has a plier and then a stripper and a cutter. And you have uh, for solid wire, 14, 12, and 10. And then for stranded wire, 16, 14, and 12 uh, for the strippers. So it has that somewhat ergonomic handle, though it is, uh, it will dig into your hand a little bit when using it. There's not a whole lot of leverage here when you're cutting uh, wire. So this is just standard 14 gauge Romex. And, you know, you really got to put some effort into it. It will cut, but you got to put basically a lot of oomph in it. And it will dig into your hand a little bit, which is, why I think some of the reasons this was uh, not continued on, and it, this was a Klein tool, branded Klein tool, but most Klein tools are made in the USA. This one actually happened to be made overseas in China. So if I were to guess, after looking at this piece here, there could have been some quality control issues with it. Uh, I've read some uh, stuff on the uh, people have had it and some reviews and everything. Uh, I saw one where the, the piece right here broke off and it made the pliers basically useless. So what all is involved in this? Well, like I said, you have a, basically a linesman's type pliers right up front at the nose. You have your strippers, you have your cutters. And then you also have on the outside accessible, once this is all folded up, you have a knife. And this is where I think the quality control issues came into play which has made have been why they discontinued this. If you look at this blade, see that big old divot right out of there. That is actually a, you know, that's from forging or whatever. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a manufacturer's mess right there. And that's how it came out. And I haven't used this other than, you know, a little bit of cutting and stripping, but you can see the marks on it. These things have been beaten around you can actually see some color mismatch. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but this is a darker Brown than, than that is so there's that and then uh the the knife is razor sharp i mean that's perfectly uh usable and then it has on this side it has your flathead standard flathead with a nail neck to come out of there and, and a decent groove to dig into that and get that nail neck and pull that out of there these are stiff there are some serious springs on there same thing for uh, the plot of uh, the number two Phillips. So the number two Phillips on this, I actually really like this because this is a, a full 3d number two Phillips on there. And 
it's just nicely styled. It, it's not quite centered in its twisting, but it is close. I think Klein kind of missed the missed the boat on a couple of things with this. Uh, it does have a detent to lock it into ninety degree, and then same for the for the uh, the flathead. Oh, and also has as a an added bonus here a little pair of tweezers that are hidden in the in the handle over here. So uh, there's that. But like I said, I think Klein missed the missed the boat on this. Is probably why it wasn't well received. Like I said, maybe it was poor sales. Maybe it was uh, quality control. I don't know why they discontinued it, but I do see some areas for improvement. You can see right here. There's some, there's some gaps. You know, there's a, there's a decent amount of gap in between these two right here. So you could have put two more tools in there. You know, uh, I have to laugh because this is probably the, the first multi-tool that I've ever bought that doesn't have a, a can opener or a bottle opener on it. Yeah, guys, imagine that. And if anybody knows any of the electricians from back in the day, a bottle opener was kind of important for the end of the day. So, but like I said, these are readily available on AliExpress. They show up from time to time. I think about six or eight months ago they were on there and I missed out. Uh, they did kind of disappeared. And then they hit uh, again recently. I got to see them show up. So I grabbed one. They were $14 uh, delivered. It took about, I want to say about two, three weeks to get here. But uh, but I, when I saw it, I kind of knew what it was. And I figured, let me try it. Let me check it out. Interesting tool. Not exactly sure that uh, it's, you know, super valuable, super usable in its current form. I don't know what exactly. This will probably sit in a, I have a, a kind of a go kit for, just electrical stuff around the house. If I got to change an outlet or I, I got to check voltage on, on something or, you know, it's basically a, a, a small tool bag with a couple of screwdrivers and a meter and a pair of wire strippers. So, uh, like I said, something to grab real quick and, and use to, to change an outlet or change a switch. So, but, but that's it. That's all I got for today. So where do good tools? Well, was this a good tool? That's, that's, that's left to be dis to uh, left to be seen. Uh, apparently not because it was discontinued. So, but you can get this from China where it was manufactured. So it's not a knockoff or a counterfeit. It actually is the product, and they're not they're not selling it as a Klein product on AliExpress. They have taken the markings off of it and tried to market in that way. So, but. If you're interested, it's on there. I would put a link to the page, but the way AliExpress links work, it'll probably be good for a day or two and then disappear. And then you'll all be mad at me that the link doesn't work. So with AliExpress, I would just go on there and type in seven in one electrician's tool. And this is probably what you're going to end up with. So with that, uh, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking this out, and I will talk to you on the next one. When you get a chance, go out, enjoy yourself in the shop. Have a great time. See you next time, guys. Thank you.